So what the magnets do is you can now physically feel the vibration because if you hold the magnet uh, to uh, next to the coil, it'll shake in your hand violently because of the energy coming from it. Uh, also, you can it kind of acts as a focusing element of the energy uh, of the of the energy field as it comes out of the coil. I put the two chi coils yin and yang in front of me. I play my biohacking frequencies, methylene blue, uh, BPC one five seven. So it's I'm sitting in front of it, but I don't have to close my eyes or anything. I don't have to meditate. I'm just sitting there working on my laptop, and I'm getting this uh -huh. daily uh, energetic therapy um, every day. And every day I'm getting stronger. I'm forty three. I do boxing, and I'm basically outpacing all these twenty and thirty year olds. So scalar is a cut another kind. I mentioned that there's different types of chi energy, right? So scalar is a different kind um, of energy. So scalar waves uh, is a little bit more complex, but basically when two electromagnetic fields of equal, um, let's say frequency or equal intensity, when they meet in the middle, right? Let's say you have one coil on the left, one coil on the right, and they're facing each other. They're both creating this magnetic field. And when they meet in the middle, it doesn't cancel out. Right. Well, it cancels itself out. Like if you have, uh, you know, you know how um, noise canceling headphones work, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it it's basically uses a mic to pick up what sounds is coming in, and then it plays a sound that's opposite of that. That's why it cancels out the the sound. So, right. but, but according to a lot of converse, uh, conservation, energy never cancels out. It goes somewhere. It has to go somewhere, right? So when you have two electromagnetic fields and they are equal to each other and they face each other and the point in the middle, they don't cancel out. They create a third, I mean, another type of energy called scalar waves in the 90 degrees from it, perpendicular to the energy field. So long story short, basically it's like this, um, you can't really detect it because it's canceling out, right? But you can measure the effects of it on plant life, or on humans or on biology.